Hi, this is Ryan with Front End Audio, and today I want to give you a quick first look overview of the new Avid Audio Mbox 3 line of interfaces. This is a step forward for them, bringing you improved signal quality and conversion. Uh, first, let's take a look at the new Mbox 3 Mini. Alright, starting here, you have your first gain knob. This is for your channel 1 mic line input. You have a nice beefy pot here. It's very solid, and if you pull out on it, that gives you a 20 dB pad. Right next to that, you also have your signal clip meter right here. Over here, you also have your signal clip for channel 2, which is an instrument DI or line level input. Features the same nice solid potentiometer and the uh, 20 dB pad. Next to that, you have your headphone level output so that you can monitor. You have your speaker mute so that you can mute the monitoring of your powered speakers. And you have your main level output to your monitors. On the back of the unit, right here is your input. It is a combo jack for channel one, XLR for your microphone input, and quarter inch for instrument line input. You have your 48 volt phantom power switch and then your button for switching between microphone or line level. Here on channel 2 you have your line DI input and you have a switch right here to switch between line level or instrument DI. And then you have your main monitor outputs to go to your powered speaker mixer PA system. And then you have your USB connector here, type B, and these are USB bus powered, so you don't need an external power supply. On the front of the M box here, you have your mic line trim with pull out 20 dB pad. Below that, you have your instrument DI. Right over here, you have a soft limit function, which is actually really cool. It helps prevent uh, signal clipping on the input and gives you more of a saturated sound. Below that, you have the ability to switch between your instrument front jack or the microphone line level inputs on the rear. Right here, you have the multi button, and this is assignable to a number of functions within the Pro Tools software. So if you want to assign it for, say, saving a session, it's just a button press away. If you want to assign it for tap tempo for delays, you can just do that. And the uh, manual goes into more details, but there's a number of functions that you can use that for. Below that, you have your universal phantom power switch. Next to this, you have your headphone monitor. Next to the headphones, you have a dim switch. This is for your main output, so you can have your level up while you're mixing, and if you need to have a discussion or uh, you know use talk back or whatnot, you can cut the uh, output level so it's still playing, but it's way down. Below the dim button, you have a sum to mono feature, so you can check your mixes in mono and make sure that everything is kosher. On the back of the unit here, you have channels 1 and 2 analog inputs. These are your mic level and line level inputs, combo jacks. You have your quarter inch outputs to monitor to your mixer or powered speakers. Right here you have your SPDIF input and output. So that gives you an extra 2 ins and outs. So this is a 4x4 four four unit to be used simultaneously with your analog inputs. So if you have an external analog to digital or digital to analog converter, you can utilize additional inputs there. Next to that, you have your input and output for MIDI. So any number of uh, MIDI controllers, such as the Axiom, can be used with this for virtual instruments or MIDI programming or program switching with outboard gear. This unit is also USB bus powered, so you have your Type B connection here for transmitting your audio and for powering the unit. For those of you who have uh, more demanding needs when it comes to recording audio, uh, Avid is coming out with the Mbox 3 Pro, which will have a lot more features to it, 
it is a firewire based uh, interface so you have a lot more stability there for the higher resolutions up to 192. Uh, you have four microphone level inputs and line level inputs, insert jacks, uh, six outputs, you know, so you can actually send out to cue mixing for headphones for multiple people or for sending out to say an outboard compressor on a drum bus. So a lot of new features there which we will of course overview as soon as those are available. So keep an eye out for that. This line is a big step up for Avid. They're bringing forth higher quality pre's, higher quality conversion, a new look to it that's all metal construction, so very rugged. Uh, it is a very clean signal path, so you have a transparent interface here, so your, uh, your character and your dimension can be built up during the recording and mixing process. So for more information on the new Avid Audio Inbox 3 line of interfaces, and for all your pro audio needs, check us out on the web at www.frontendaudio.com. Thank you.